All right, today we're gonna to talk about the four emotional beliefs that you need to solve for to close more deals. Now understand, in high ticket sales, we need to establish two things. Number one, we need to establish that your prospect truly believes in your product emotionally, they're bought in emotionally, and that's how they're gonna make the decision. They're gonna act on the emotion, but then they're gonna justify with the logic behind it. So today, we're gonna to talk about the the emotions that are needed to really bring out this conviction that's gonna get your prospect to move, to, to buy your product, to make a move, to make the, the big purchase for the high ticket deal. So the four emotions we're gonna talk about today is certainty, significance, connection, and contribution. Certainty, significance, connection, and contribution. So we're gonna talk about these four emotional beliefs and really what these are is these are human needs. And I learned these from Tony Robbins. And these human needs is what is gonna drive this emotional decision to work with you if it makes sense. So let's talk about the first one, certainty. What really is certainty? Certainty is the amount of confidence that your prospect has in you, your product, your company, your offer. So they need to feel emotionally certain that if they work with you, if he, she works with you, that they are gonna get the results that they're looking for. They need to feel certain. And this is more than just an analytical or logical decision, because certainty is an emotion. You look at the greatest leaders, when they're moving people, they're people that are following them, they feel certain that if they take the lead from this leader, that it's gonna help, it's gonna make a difference, it's gonna make an impact. So certainty is truly a feeling. And yeah, we can justify it with logic, but it is still an emotion. They need to feel certain. So let's talk about how do you really do that? One of the most important things you need to do to help them feel certain is have a strong reputation with yourself, with your brand. If you are selling for a, a different company, you wanna be able to show them, this. Are, these are the testimonials that we have. This is the reputation that we have. This is how we change lives. Testimonials is a huge tool to help build the certainty and this confidence. If they can see that other people like them have struggled with this problem, they went through this program, they had these huge changes, now I can expect reasonably to have the same result or something similar. So that really helps with the certainty. And also how you're carrying yourself, how you deliver your offer, how the, the questions that you're asking all makes a big difference in building this certainty. So if you can build this certainty with your prospect, it's gonna help move the needle forward. Now, let's talk about connection, the emotional belief of connection. Humans are social creatures. Almost everyone wants to feel connected to other people. That's why people are in relationships, get married, have friendships. Humans are social creatures. Humans, especially men, we've seen that they thrive in a tribe. Over thousands of years, we've seen this, and this is what we share with a lot of our guys here at Wake Up Wealthy. We've seen in history that men thrive in a tribe. So having this sense of connection is very, very important. And this is why you'll see a lot of high ticket offers uh, offer typically a group coaching program of some sort. We see this very often in the coaching space. And it's because if a person is struggling with a certain problem, it feels so much better to make a move forward if they know that they're working with other people that also have the same problem. Feeling a sense of connection there which is imperative to growth, which is imperative to make some big changes by working with others that have the same issue, feeling connected. We hear from a lot of guys here at Wake Up Wealthy that come in, they say, look, I feel absolutely alone. All this work that I'm doing, I feel like I'm on an island, I'm doing it by myself. I don't really have anyone that has my, my back. So that's why we've created Wake Up Wealthy is to create this environment, this container that allows men to work with other men that are pushing themselves forward along with everything else that we're doing. So having a sense of connection is very important. So you wanna ask yourself in your offer, in your program, how can your prospect feel more connected to others? Now, the next leaf we're gonna talk about is significance. Significance is very important. As humans, we want to feel significant. 
significant with our friends, significant on our teams, in our companies, in our families, with our clients. We have this innate desire where we want to feel significant. And so with your offer, with your pitch, you need to ask yourself, how can I offer my pitch to this person and help them feel more significant as a result? So if I help them get to where they want to go, how can they feel more significant? I want you to really ask yourself that because if you ask yourself that question, you'll be able to figure out, okay, this is what I need to add to this offer. And here are the questions I need to ask my prospect so that I can ensure that they're going to feel more significant as a result. And maybe this is providing for their families more. Maybe it's being a better leader for their teams, whatever it is. And this can go with weight loss. This can go with business coaching. It can go with practically anything. So we need to ask ourselves, how can they feel more significant? Because if they feel that they will become more significant in the eyes of others that they care about, they're going to be much more motivated to make a move with you. Let's talk about the fourth belief, and this is the belief of contribution. Here's what we've seen. When people have their needs met, they have a desire to contribute more, to give back, to help others. When I was serving in the military, I will tell you it was exceptionally rare that I would meet someone, and, and they said, yeah, like I joined the military because the money was really good. People don't say that. Almost always people told me, Brandon, I joined the military because I wanted to be a part of something much bigger than myself. I wanted to contribute. I wanted to be a part of something bigger. So there's this deep, innate desire that we have to contribute. Contribute to others, contribute to something bigger. So you need to ask yourself, in your offer, how can your prospect contribute? If they work with you, you help them get the results that they want, as a result, how can they contribute more? Can they contribute more to their families? Can they contribute more to their clients? Can they contribute more to the community? Whatever that it is that they want to give back to. I hear all the time, I've, I've talked to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of men, and I'll tell you, a lot of them say, yeah, like if I do this, I want to be able to give back. I want to be able to do this for other people. It's very common. So you need to ask yourself, how can they do that? And even here at Wake Up Wealthy, I'll tell you, when I invite people in here, I tell them, like, not only am I going to ask you for money, but I'm going to ask you to contribute to the other brothers here at Wake Up Wealthy. This contribution is so very important. Because men are going to come in, they're going to pour into you, and I'm going to ask the same of you three months down the road, six months down the road, whatever it, it is. And most people, they are looking for that. They really want that. They want to contribute. So you need to ask yourself, okay, in my offer, in my product, how can they contribute to others? Can they contribute to others while they're working with me in the program? And also, when I help them get to where they want to go, how can they contribute to others as a result of it? So these four emotional beliefs, you need to ask yourself these questions, ask your prospect these questions to get them thinking. Because if they are sold on these emotional beliefs internally, if they believe that, they're going to be much more motivated. They're going to be in the right state to work with you. That's a huge thing about high ticket sales is truly becoming a state inducer. So it's all about creating this state so they feel empowered in the moment to make important decisions. I mean, think of it this way. Think about a time where you feel down or you feel tired or anything like that. You probably aren't making very important decisions. You don't feel like making a very important decision. But now think about a time where you have made some really big decisions in your life that brought you a lot of success or anything like that. You probably were in a state where you felt confident about yourself and you believed in the decision that you were making. And you had a lot of conviction with it. And so it's very important for closers to help people get in that state so that they can make important decisions. It is a way that we help them. It's a way that we serve them. We have to help them get to the right state. So those are the four emotional beliefs that you need to help your prospect feel in order to get more closes, get more sales. If you like what you see here, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I'm on Instagram at brandon.gif.